Okay, let's make a quick little comparison video. Today we're gonna talk about Aventus. Before we start, look at these two bottles and tell me which is the fake one. Write it down in the comments, which is fake, the small one or the big one. Jono, you're watching CX Sense. Thank you guys for tuning in today. As I said, we're talking about Aventus. And did you guess it right? The bigger one is the fake one. The small one is the real deal. So let's do a comparison of these two. Like, I don't know if you can tell through the camera. Do you see that little gap right here? That gap shows you that this is real, this is not. Uh, from top, you can see like that. There's a, there's a difference, definitely. The bottom looks like this. Let me let me show it like this. This is the real one, this is the fake. Oh, and you can see the juice color, I think. Like the juice color on the real one is see-through and this one is a bit yellowish. Uh, the backside, that's right, there, there you go. I don't know if you can tell a lot by it, but the, even the feeling in the hand is the, different. Like, I can tell by just holding it that this one feels fake and this one feels real because of also the riffles, like the riffles here are more detailed than this and also the guy up front has more details, is like etched into it and this one's just printed into it. And the scent itself from the fake one, you can immediately tell that it is a fake one because there's a lot of smokiness and citrus with that pineapple but it smells cheap quality right away it smells cheap quality right away but actually in the air it's fine i just recently got this in and i'm enjoying it so far still unsure if i'm gonna, if I'm gonna keep it if you wanna let me know this is a 2019 batch i think the batch was what was it 19 u01 i think it's the batch and this is oh that's another thing like this is completely black, the atomizer, the spray, and the fake one is white. I just feel like there's a lot of Aventus fakes out there and you should keep your eyes open on these ones. Uh, and is it like, I have a question for you guys and I have a general question, like, do you guys think it's worth getting Aventus? Like at full retail, I would highly disagree. It's hard to find those discounted, but if you get it used like I did, like I didn't get this one full, I got it like how you see it. It's like, I'd say 35 out of 50 ml, something like that. Uh, I got it used and I got it for a good price. So I thought, why not? Because I wanted to get an Aventus alternative. And one alternative that I like a lot that I took to on my vacation with me is this guy right here. Mont Blanc Explorer, you all know it, we all love it. This is just Aventus, but fresher. It's like, loses all the deep elements, loses all the smokiness. It has just fruity pineapple with like Ambroxan freshness. Other alternatives, you guys know it, Kleptonui Intense Man. Um, I sold my Pure Parfum. As I said to you guys, I, I said it I think in a video before. I had like around 60 fragrances, now I have 33 and that's a huge cut and I try to go towards the upper end of fragrances I'm uh, not all the time I still get my fair shares of cheapies in but other than that uh, I could recommend you for the cold weather supremacy not only intense this is a more like deep more stronger version of the adventures DNA it is really like a parfum concentration so it lingers deep it wears more heavy and this that's more like you can still wear it in the warm days but I much I would much rather go for something like this than Supremacy Not Only Intense and Warm Weather. And I still wanted to try the limited edition Parfum by Club De New Intense Man. And I think that's about it of the alternatives. So yeah, these are my thoughts on Creed Aventus and I hope you could recognize the fake bottle. Let me know down in the comments, do you like the Aventus DNA and do you think it's worth getting the real deal? Or do you much rather prefer the alternatives? I've been general, you've been fantastic as always. See you in the next video. Goodbye.